Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new virtual machine using the VirtualBox. So in this case, first of all, we will download the VirtualBox software and then we will try to create a new virtual machine and install Linux Mint into it. So you have to just go to virtualbox.org. You can even Google that and go to the downloads section and you will see this page. So all you have to do is just pick the right option uh, among these. So if you are using Windows, then choose the first option. If you're using Mac OS, then you choose the second Linux distributions, third option. So we are using Mac OS. So we will just click on the OS X uh, hosts and uh, we will download the installer for VirtualBox. So it will take a while to download. And once uh, the installer has downloaded, you can just run the installer and install the virtual box. Now we are just opening the virtual box uh, installer. So once it has opened, it will show you the PKG file, which is basically an executable file. Just run it and uh, run the installer. And it will take few seconds to install the software, the virtual box on your computer. And once it has completed, just run the application VirtualBox. Go to machine and click on new to create a new virtual machine. And here, this screen will appear, which will basically ask you for the name which you want to give it to the operating system or the virtual machine and uh, you have to choose the location where your virtual machine will be stored and then the type of operating system it ha it is and then the version of that uh, operating system so you have to fill in these details so in this case we are installing linux mint so it is uh, a linux type operating system now choose the location where your virtual machine will be stored. So just click on the down arrow and click on other if the mentioned destination is not the desired one. So click on other and uh, locate where you want to store the virtual machine files and click on open and then choose the version which is I believe optional, but uh, it is better to choose. So in this case, Mint is not shown in the list. So just click on or choose other Linux and 64 bit because it is a 64 bit uh, I use image that we have. So once that is done, just uh, click on continue and the installation process will proceed. So now allocate the memory size. So we have chosen three GB for this. It also depends on how much RAM do you have on your system as well. Now choose this uh, create a virtual hard disk now. Click on create and here it is showing you the option VDI. So choose that by clicking on continue and then it can be dynamically allocated. So choose the size for the virtual machine. It can be 15 GB for example and since it is dynamically allocated it is faster to create and can grow to large sizes. Also, if the OS takes only 5 GB, for example, then the VM will occupy only 5 GB of uh, disk space and not the entire 15 GB, which we have just chosen. Now that we have created the virtual machine, just double click on that and uh, choose the IOSA image. So what we created earlier was the placeholder. Now we will run the ISO image and we will try to install the operating system into that virtual machine. Click on add and locate where the ISO file is and choose that. And then click on start. Now your virtual machine will boot from that ISO image. So it will 
show you this screen, which is the startup screen. So click on start Linux mint, which will basically boot and open the demo of uh, Linux mint, which would let you explore the operating system. And if you like it, you can click on the installer to install the Linux mint, mint operating system. So it takes a while to load that. And finally it has loaded the operating system. Now if you want to install the Linux Mint, you just click on this disk and uh, it will run the installer. So choose English if it is the preferred language of yours. Click on continue. And now choose the keyboard layout, which can be the standard one if you are in an English country. Now it is optional to install multimedia codecs. It will just increase the time of installation because it will download the software packages from the internet. So uncheck that or check that. It is totally optional. Now click on continue and it will process a little bit and uh, it will show you this option. Do you want to erase the disk and install Linux Mint? You can do that if you are a beginner. So since we are a beginner, we will just choose that option and click on install now. After that, choose your location or your country and then enter the details of your login so the username which you want and the password which you want for your virtual machine operating system and now the installation process will proceed also during the installation process you will notice that uh, the screen size is very small for that you can just uh, click on the small icon in the bottom and uh, select uh, the scaling option which would increase the size of the display by 300% which is the maximum through that option. Once the installation process is completed you will be shown this uh, screen so now just click on restart now and uh, the installation process is complete so now what you have to do is we can just rename the iso image name so that the vm doesn't load from the iso image and it will boot from the installation which you have done so here we are just renaming the name of the iso image and now we have renamed that and now we will open the VM for the first time after the installation. It will throw this error. So just choose this uh, do not show this message again. Enter the password which you had set during the installation process. So now the operating system has loaded. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more. And do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.